Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're doing another quick tip on Windows 7, creating a Power Options shortcut. So for example, here on my desktop, I've got two shortcuts that I already created that are called Power Options. I've got one and two. And basically, if I double click on the first one, it opens up the Power Options here that I can control different options, obviously, for all the different hardware components that I've got in my machine. The other shortcut basically allows you to choose the profile, the power um, management profile that your system is running in Windows 7. You can quickly access that and flip on the fly. So here is the other shortcut and you can see how it selects the power plan. I've got high performance selected right now and that's what this video is about. It's just showing you how do you create these shortcuts. You right click on the background, go to new shortcut and then type in the following code exactly like I have here. Now if you take away the um, comma comma three at the end then that will make the first shortcut the first power options window that I showed you earlier and you can call this shortcut for example power options okay oops just power options and then click on next and then it creates the shortcut there at the top when you double click on it up comes the uh, select the power plan options there that your preferred plan okay if you want the other shortcut which gives you access to modifying the different components. When you go to create the uh, shortcut, leave the comma comma three there at the end. Call it whatever you want. I'll just call this power options two. And uh, click on next, and then it creates the shortcut. And when you double click on that, there you go. Now you've got the other power options window with the advanced settings, so you can tweak the different types of hardware components that you've got in there. So those are the two quick shortcuts that I thought I'd mention to you guys just in case uh, you didn't know and it avoids a few clicks to going into the control panel or searching for these options. It's quick and easy. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.